हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शमा ट्यूशंस वी ऑल यूज करेंसी फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पसेस इन आवर डेली लाइफ्स बट हैव वी एवर नोटिस दैट देयर आर ब्यूटीफुल लैंडमार्क्स प्रिंटेड ऑन एवरी नोट दीस मोनुमेंट्स आर नॉट प्रिंटेड जस्ट बिकॉज़ दे आर ब्यूटीफुल दे आर प्रिंटेड टू डिस्प्ले आवर कंट्रीज कल्चर which reflects nation's rich diversity and proud achievements so let's discover these significant landmarks in this video and enrich your mind with its knowledge for centuries before obtaining independence pakistan was governed by different rulers from the nature loving mughal emperors to the british colonialists Such a complex and fascinating history has left behind numerous military and religious landmarks scattered across the country. Pakistan is also home to a variety of natural landmarks, which includes lush green landscapes and impressive mountain peaks. In all these numerous wonderful landscapes, K2 has always earned first place which is why it has been printed on the reverse side of the currency note of rupees 50 K2 is a magnificent snow covered mountain that reflects the powerful might of nature in all of its glory It is the second highest mountain in the entire world reaching an unfathomable height of 8611 meters K2 is also referred to as savage mountain because it is an extremely difficult ascent with one of the highest prevailing fertility rates for all climbers who dare to climb it even though it is located on pakistan china border climbers prefer to climb it from pakistan side as it is more favorable to the activity k2 was named as such by british surveyor named tg mongomery back in 1852 The K was in reference to the Karakoram mountain and 2 referring to the fact that it was the second peak recorded in the region. As you can see, mere a spectacle of this mighty mountain is breathtaking and allows us to appreciate the magnificence of mother nature. Next on our list is beautiful Ziarat residency. which is printed on the back side of 100 rupee note Ziarat is one of the most beautiful districts of Pakistan thousands of people from all around come here for tourism and picnics Jinnah residency situated in Ziarat attracts many tourists to Ziarat people from all around the world come here to witness the memories of Qaid Azam The snowfall in the winter season makes the land more beautiful which attracts a lot of tourists. Ziarat residency was built in 1892 during the British Raj. It is the place where Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah spent the last 2 months and 10 days of his life. So it is declared a national monument and heritage site and is of great architectural importance. Now let's have a sight of majestic Badshahi Mosque. Badshahi Mosque is situated in Lahore and is one of the most stunningly beautiful sacred sites for Muslims. The Badshahi Mosque was built between 1671 and 1673 by the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb. This mosque is an important example of Mughal architecture. Shahi Mosque is the largest mosque of the Mughal era and the third largest mosque in Pakistan. Near the entrance of the masjid is the tomb of Dr. Muhammad Iqbal who was an eminent poet and the founder of Pakistan movement. The Badshahi Mosque full name 
مسجد ابو الظفر محی الدین محمد عالمگیر بادشاہ غازی از ریٹن ان انیٹ مابل ابو دا والٹڈ انٹرنس بادشاہی ماسک ہولڈز امینس ہسٹوریکل اینڈ کلچرل سگنیفیکنس فار دا پیپل آف پاکستان اینڈ مسلمس ورلڈ وائڈ دس ماسک از ناٹ اونلی اے پلیس آف ورشپ بٹ آلسو اے سمبل آف دا مغل امپائرس لیگیسی اینڈ گرینڈیور آف اسلامک آرکیٹیکچر Now here we have an amazing spectacle of Islamia College Peshawar. Islamia College Peshawar is the symbol of academic excellence and is rich in history. Its building which is the best embodiment of Muslim civilization in South Asia and its lush green lawns attract visitors from all over the country and abroad. Founded by the personal initiatives led by Sir Sahib Zada Abdul Qayyum and Sir George Roos Keppel in 1913, it is one of the oldest institutions of higher education in Pakistan. When the new province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, previously known as NWFP, was formed in 1901 after its separation from the Punjab, there was only one college in the whole province. This scarcity of quality educational institutions forced local youth to travel to the faraway regions of the country in pursuit of higher education. This lack of educational opportunities in the region motivated Nawab Sir Sahib Zada Abdul Qayyum and Sir George Roos Keppel to establish an institution that would not only cater to the academic needs of the region but also produce leaders from the region. This is the reason we have a beautiful picture of Islamia College printed on the back side of 1000 rupee note. Now we have the site of iconic landmark of Islamabad which is the capital of Pakistan. The name of this beautiful masjid is Faisal Mosque which completed in 1986 and is named after the late Faisal bin Abdul Aziz of Saudi Arabia. who supported and financed the project The largest mosque in Pakistan the Faisal Mosque was the largest mosque in the world from 1986 until 1993 when it was overtaken in size by the newly completed Hassan II Mosque in Morocco Subsequent expansions of the Masjid al-Haram and Masjid al-Nabawi in Saudi Arabia during the 1990s relegated Faisal Mosque to the fourth place in terms of size. The Faisal Mosque is the work of the Turkish architect Vedat Deloke. The architecture of the masjid is modern and unique, lacking both the traditional domes and arches of most other mosques around the world. Now you make a guess on which note is this beautiful mosque printed. You are right. This beautiful mosque has added glory to the note of rupees 5000. After learning about the Faisal Mosque, let's learn about the site which is printed on the back side of 20 rupees note. Mohenjo Daro is an archaeological site in the province of Sin built around 2500 BCE. The site contains the relics of one of the two main centers of ancient Indus civilization. The other one being Harappa some 400 miles to the northwest in Punjab. Mohenjo Daro was the most advanced city of its time with remarkably sophisticated civil engineering and urban planning. With an estimated population of at least 40,000 people, Mohenjo Daro prospered until around 1700 BCE. But in the decline of Indus Valley civilization in 19th century BCE, Mohenjo Daro was abandoned. The site was not rediscovered until R. D. Banerjee, an officer of the Archaeological Survey of India, visited the site in 1920. Significant excavation has since been conducted at the site of the city which was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1980. A 
And here in the last but not the least, we have another iconic landmark of Peshawar city, Babe Khaybar. The Babe Khaybar, which means Khaybar Gate, is a monument situated at the entrance of the Khaybar Pass in the Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa province of Pakistan. The Khaybar Pass is a mountain pass that links Afghanistan and Pakistan. Throughout the history, it has been an important trade route between Central Asia and South Asia and is a strategic military location. The Khaybar Pass is a witness to history and has seen countless invaders and great warriors enter the rich lands of the subcontinent to seek their fortunes and build empires. It is the route used by Alexander the Great, Cyrus the Great, Chinggis Khan, Babur the Tiger, and countless other would-be conquerors. The Babe Khaybar was built by military government of Ayub Khan in 1964 at the mouth of the Khaybar Pass where the Jamrud Fort is located. It was built as a trading route to make trade between Pakistan and Afghanistan easier. Having such a great economic and historical significance, the Babe Khaybar is considered as the national passageway of Pakistan. So dear friends, I hope after learning about these wonderful landmarks, you would take more pride in your country as Pakistan is the land of diversity. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel Shama Tuitions for more informative videos. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.